So these are a couple of trees which became infected towards the end of last summer. We left them to fell later this year because it's at this point that they're the most infectious. You can see there's no foliage on them at all. The bark is drying out, making it ideal breeding situation for uh, the elm bark beetles. They prefer to, to well, they can only uh, lay eggs under dried bark. They can't lay it under healthy bark because the sap pressure is too, too high, it's too much water, they get flooded out. The bark is now starting to come away, which is showing that the, the bark, the tree has deteriorated enough for, for the beetles to, to use. And you can see that there are entry holes where the parent beetle has drilled in and from here behind there you'll, you will find the, the egg chambers. So there's a central gallery there where the, the parent beetle has burrowed down and as she's burrowed down she's been depositing eggs either side. These then hatch and the larva burrow out eating all the way, growing and growing and there's one there. And these grubs this time of year will stay under the bark feeding on the dead dying bark until the spring when it's warm enough and they'll start to uh, transform into adult beetles. The first signs of the disease is the, the yellowing, the wilting, the yellowing of the foliage usually higher up in the canopy where the beetles have flown in. They like to feed on the younger twig material. That then creates a, a chain reaction within the tree, an immune response which starts closing off all the xylem vessels, the water carrying vessels. Unfortunately the elm aren't, uh, aren't fast enough to trap the fungus which is the idea of closing off the vessels. So the, the fungus zips through the tree, the tree keeps uh, tightening itself up, creates a tourniquet sort of system and it just begins dying back. So hence if you start something of water the first sign you'll see is the, the wilt and then the very tips will end up shriveling, becoming yellow and then brown and you, you'll get a, a sort of a gradual effect down the branch. From there on the tree will start to deteriorate so the finer twigs will become leafless, travelling all the way down through the tree until it ends up skeleton like this and it's at this point that the bark has become dry enough as all the water vessels have been shut off the bark is drying out and that's when the beetles can sense that the pheromones they pick up tell them this tree is ready they head to it bore in start laying their eggs from an initial infection from the first time that the beetles hit feed and introduce the uh, the fungus into the tree it can take about 12 months to 18 months to reach this sort of a situation where the beetles are, are in laying eggs. Um, it can depend on uh, the tree, its location, its size um, and the weather as well. Uh, some of these trees were infected towards the end of last year so we're in the program to be felled this year, um, this winter, but due to the warm hot spring that we had, the early spring, they've deteriorated much faster, they dried out a lot quicker early on in the summer. So. Um, Hence now, they've, um, they've already been host to uh, one beetle uh, brood, uh, which have, you can see, signs of areas where they've already um, hatched. Um, but now we know that there are grubs in here, they're still being used. This is the ideal time now to be felling them um, and taking out next year's beetle population. Firewood is a big issue. What we aim to do with every tree we fell is to burn it. Um, take out the bark. If anything is left with bark on, the beetles can still use it. That includes stumps as well, so all the stumps have to be shaved of all the bark. Um, we do find often when we're felling trees on private land that people do ask, can we keep the logs? Um, you know, we have a wood burner. Um, that is fine, but so long as the, the bark is peeled off. Um, the contractor can do that, but it tends to add to the cost. Um, the private household or the landowner, the tree owner could do that, but it's not as easy as it looks. It is hard work. Um, and also we need assurances that it's going to be done. I can't leave a pile of logs for a landowner to, to say that they will do it and come back six months time and find that they haven't and dozens and hundreds of beetles have escaped.